everybody, it's Glenn. Back in this video with WWE Basic Series 30 Hornswoggle. He's had a few figures over the years, many of which I've seen sell for a pretty penny on eBay, but this is my very first one, so let's take a closer look. Looking at the packaging back and other figures in this line include the, oh excuse me, The Miz, Santino Morella, Seamus, Daniel Bryan, who looks positively naked without his Rip Van Winkle beard, and Divas champion AJ Lee. Here's Horny out of packaging, and he has a great scan capturing Hornswoggle's likeness, but I think I'd prefer a bit more of an outlandish, wide-eyed expression as on the packaging. As compared to it, the figure looks a bit more sleepy. His eyes look kind of heavy. His shirt has great detailing of himself in leprechaun garb, grabbing great fistfuls from his his pot of gold, throwing the coins in the air and taking a golden shower. On TV I've never noticed Hornswoggle having tattoos, yet his figure has them so he must do. The detail is really quite small but I'll just read it to you. It reads, hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. I'm not really sure what the long term plan for Hornswoggle is in the WWE. He seems to have floundered around for ages. I remember a while ago, I heard he was set to play the lead role in a reboot of the Leprechaun horror franchise, and I heard nothing more. I guess Vince ran out of matches with which to set fire to his money. In terms of scale, Hornswoggle measures around 5 inches. And here's a size comparison with fellow Basic Series 30 figure AJ Lee, who is likely the next shortest person on the WWE roster after Hornswoggle, I would imagine. And then here he is compared to infamous midget squasher King Kong Bundy. I'll just have to zoom out a little so we can accommodate King Kong Bundy's dome. I'll quickly go over the figure's articulation. The head rotates 360 degrees, plus does look up and down very slightly. At the shoulder rotates 360 degrees, plus moves up and down. Rotates at the elbow 360 degrees, plus moves up and down at the wrist rotates 360 degrees plus is hinged to move up and down very little rotation at the waist features dcuc style hips that move out and in front and back upper thigh swivel 360 degrees single jointed knee at the ankle it's a ball and socket joint which has some rotation to it and then the ankle itself has a slight pivot to it. Anyway, please comment, rate, share and subscribe and check out the description beneath this video for links to my Facebook and Twitter. Click those links and connect with me there too. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye.